Hello, it's me, the Vertical Spy 17, and God damn it! I'm so pissed off! I went to go see the live action Avatar movie, Avatar The Last Airbender, and God fucking damn it, I'm pissed off! The movie was not great! It wasn't anything special at all. The dialogue was horrible. The acting was, I will admit, was kind of okay at most parts. Um, it was entertaining. The special effects... Let me tell you about the special effects. The special effects on the non-3D one... No, I saw the 3D, the non-3D version. Not the 3D version. But I heard the 3D version sucked. But... The non 3D version special effects make them look like they're from five years ago. Yeah, like 2005. The story was weak. It was the same story like the TV show. You know, like Kay who gets frozen in an iceberg for the last hundred years. Uh, two water, water tribe um, kids find him. Um, discovers that the world is in war against the Fire Nation. <clears throat> Excuse me. And also, a um, bunch of other stuff here and there that you may remember from the show. And they basically rip off everything that's from the show and just make it not interesting. It just wasn't interesting at all. It was just pretty much pretty mediocre and pretty much not different. Or not special, anything. My problem with the movie is that the plot just feels weak. It just feels really, really weak. Everything happens way, way, way too fast. And why are you mispronouncing the names? They call Aang Ong. They call Sokka Soka. They call Iroh... Well, they just mispronounce Iroh's name. Um... Okay, basically, let me go through the characters first. Kid who played Aang, you know, he was okay at most parts. Well, you know, he could have been a lot more worse. Um, Sokka, the two, two guys, I mean, the, the two kids who played Sokka and Guitar, they did okay also. But, you know, they could have been a little bit better. Um... As for Zuko and Iroh, played by Dave Patel and this other guy I've seen in plenty of other movies, um, their performances was kind of good, I will admit. I mean, Dave Patel did portray Zuko very, very well, but you know, these characters, I mean, the characters in this movie do portray their characters kind of pretty well, but not good enough. Just really not good enough. Now, let me go into the one one character that's led me to be very curious about his performance. Uh, the guy who plays uh, Commander Zhao. Now, Commander Zhao in this movie, I the guy who, play, who plays Commander Zhao, I really did not take him seriously at all. I just couldn't. After I found out who was playing him, I just, I knew I wasn't going to take him serious at all. I mean, when I saw Jiao in the animation, he was an asshole and he was menacing. He would do anything to get what he wants. But when I saw him in this, I saw just some guy just trying to be a bad guy. And as for the Fire Lord, Fire Lord Oz Ozai. Um, he really didn't have no build up to his character. He wasn't scary or anything. When I saw him in the animation, uh, you always kind of wondered to yourself what kind of man would scar his own son just for talking out of turn? And, um, and in this movie, I mean, they show his face. Now, when it got to the TV show, they never showed his face until that part when Zuko came back at home 
like the third season. But in this movie, there was really no build-up to his character. He was just a cliche. Just someone who's just wearing a robe and whatever. He just wasn't interesting. He, wasn't, he just didn't have any build-up. I mean, the story... Now, one thing I also felt that could have been put with a lot of work was um, UA and Sokka. Because, you know, in the animation, UA and Sokka, you know, they had more chemistry with each other. But in this movie, they just literally don't have that chemistry that you may remember from the TV show. They just don't do it. They just don't do it very well. And it just happens just really quick. Like, oh, hi. Oh, hi. And they just suddenly, just like that, just fall in love. And same thing with so I mean, no, sorry. Same thing with Aang and Guitar. Um, they also, um, I mean, they really had a lot of chemistry with each other in the animation. And it just, it just didn't really have, this didn't really had what the animation had. I mean, they really don't have that much chemistry with each other at all. I mean, it's not any interesting at all. I mean, the dialogue wasn't really all that good at all. Um, I was really expecting this movie to be great. I was really expected to be blown away by this movie, but it just didn't. It just didn't blow me away. I mean, the action scenes were pretty good, I guess. Um, and as for, well, as for everything else, it sucked. I can't believe I'm actually saying this. This movie sucked. It wasn't great. It wasn't anything special. It was just nothing. So, don't go see it. And as for our rating, I'm afraid I'm going to have to give it two stars. Because of the special, I mean, so it did keep me entertained at some scenes. You know, the acting could have been a lot more worse. And that's just it. That's all I can say. So, uh, don't go see it. And damn you, M. Night Shyamalan.